<laughs> but why are they fighting? Oh, this one's tidy. The fuel that they burn to make their machines go, it isn't only polluting and warming their air, it also has a vulnerable supply chain, it needs constant new deliveries. Their machines won't go unless the supply chain flows. Right, so they must protect that supply chain really carefully. <laughs> well, you'd think, but you see the little island there off the northern continent, where they're fighting now. It decided to deliberately disrupt its supply chain with the mainland. <laughs> Why would they do that? Well, it's, it's fear, I think. They can see the global collapse is coming, so it's, it's natural to want to localise. But surely, you'd build your independent supply networks first, not just cut yourself off and hope for the best. That's mad. <laughs> yes. They're not a very forward-thinking species. But in this case, it's not really even a fuel supply problem. It's a labour supply problem. It's staffing shortages that led to some nodes in the fuel supply network running completely dry. Oh man, so the machine stopped? No, no, no. The system isn't that fragile yet. The machine's just refueled at a different node. Oh yeah, of course they can move. So, why are they fighting then? Well. The leadership, they were worried that they would be blamed. So they told the media, it's nothing to worry about. It's nothing to do with the deliberate disruption to the supply chains. It's, it'll all be fine, as long as nobody panic buys. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and there's more. The media put the words, don't panic buy, in big scary letters all over their official print and video feeds, and they needed visuals to go with the announcement, so they accompanied it with pictures of people panic buying. <laughs> <laughs> There's people filling up their garage with leaky containers full of petrol. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's been going on for an whole week. <laughs> <laughs> and the best bit is, the people are all blaming each other for panic buying, instead of asking their leaders why they cut off the supply chains without building a localised, decentralised, clean power grid. <laughs> and blaming each other so much they fight in the streets. <laughs> uh, they're not going to do it in time, are they? Uh, what? They are going to avert the global environmental tipping points. They are going to decentralise the risk of catastrophic supply chain collapse. Oh that. Well no, I shouldn't think so. Still, I do like their popcorn. You don't think it'll affect the own world, do you? Shipping it back there. No, it'll be banging. We'll be the sole supplier. It'll be the only thing left of the earth. Great marketing. Observers popcorn, a franchise on every planet of the union. We'll be famous. People will watch the show and subscribe and follow and like. It's gonna be tidy.